Thank you for joining us on CGTN, Professor Stephen Chu. As a scientist who once served as U.S. Secretary of Energy, what was the most significant adjustment moving from the lab and university to the highest level of government? It was very different in science. You're focused on learning the truth, and if you don't know, you do more experiments, you do more thinking. When you go into politics, it's very different. What struck me at first is that I found that sometimes politicians' main goal is to get reelected. <laughs> First goal is to get elected. And sometimes they will say things they know are not true. They know you know they're not true, but they say it anyway. However, having said that, I met some people in politics where there were people who really cared about the state of the country, about the state of the world. And that was very encouraging. Given the complex geopolitical challenges and trade pressures, do you think there's still room for Chinese and American scientists to work together? I hope there is. I believe very firmly, especially in basic research, that um, there were there are less commercial interests, that the sharing of uh, ideas, sharing of data, and the cooperation really advances science. But as you get more and more commercial competition, uh, for example, if you want to make a better battery for an electric vehicle, I'm very acutely aware that the Chinese companies are um, doing very well. <laughs> In fact, uh, I have to say uh, they're probably going to become a dominant force. But having said that, I still think it's valuable in basic research to still share ideas. Because in the end, whether China builds the best battery or the U.S. states or somewhere in Europe or anywhere else in the world, uh, it will benefit uh, humans and mankind and climate change. Speaking of climate change, we are having a very hot summer this year, and it's going to be hotter and hotter. As human beings, what is the biggest hope for us to fight against it? It's going to get much worse. The heat, the storms, all these things which had been predicted for decades are coming to pass. This is just the tip of what's really going to happen. The damage we've already done is profoundly worse than what we see today. And that's the scary part for me. Having said that, we have to, we can't give up. But once we give up, then what, what else is there? It's like giving up on your children. It's not only your children, our children, but your grandchildren and not one or two generations, but for hundreds of years. So it's very important uh, not to give up. Thank you so much, Professor Stephen Chu. All right, you're welcome. <laughs>